at the end of the race when you're returning to Wickford Harbor and you see the sun setting, it's an unforgettable experience, it's so beautiful. A lot of people over the years, they say, oh, sailing. It's like watching grass grow. Well, that's not the case. You're constantly uh, attentive to the changes in wind direction and velocity. Sail adjustment to get the proper airfoil for the maximum speed. All of the things play on your mind and you hope that you will digest all of this to respond properly and make things better along the way. Both mentally and physically. Great exercise. Here I am, I'll be 92 in October and uh, my daughter Kathleen is my physical therapist and she's got me working on exercises and we go to the health clubs together and all. I purchased uh, Scotty II early in uh, the 70s. My son Jim did such a job on Scotty. Oh, he looked beautiful. Jim would sand and sand. He, was, he had the uh, upper part of the hull and every part just right down to the uh, basics. and. And we repainted her and everything just like new. There were so many boats being pulled out as the hurricane approached. And uh, I thought the next door at Pleasant Street Wharf that they'd be overloaded. So I took everything off my boat, lowered the boom into the uh, cockpit and doubled up all my lines and all. I found it against the uh, rocks here on Pleasant Street. It was, you couldn't recognize it was a boat. It was all destroyed. I look back upon over 40 years of ownership. She gave me a great ride, both cruising and teaching and racing. At present, I owned uh, a boat that took first than the Nationals two times here. Jim got a job out of Dallas, Texas and had to move away. And so that left the boat in my lap. <laughs> There's still a lot of work to be done in the cabin, you know, to get chip off the old many layers of paint and all. But all that's on the schedule, and hopefully I'll be get, able to get it done within the ne next few weeks and get her looking back almost new again. She's still got a lot of speed. She's well-tuned. She points beautifully into the wind. A lot of boat speed. And if we uh, use the right tactics, we might do a little damage out there. And, give some of these younger sailors a fit. <laughs>